Global Learning How to Get a Free SSL Certificate for Your WordPress Website in 5 Simple Steps. SSL simply stands for Secure Socket Layer. It's a protocol for web browsers and servers that allows for the authentication, encryption and decryption of data sent over the internet. Now let's check out this uh, diagram or this infographics to help us understand what an SSL stands for and what it actually means. Okay, so this is a detailed diagram of an SSL certificate and what it does or the function of an SSL. An SSL certificate is very important. It helps to secure your website and make your visitors to trust your website. If your WordPress website is not SSL secured, your visitors will see this unsecured connection each time they try to access your website and this can result to a significant drop in website traffic. So if you would like to prevent this from happening, you need to secure your WordPress website with an SSL. And today in this tutorial, I will teach you how to do it for free without spending a dime and this will help you save hundreds of dollars every year and thousands if you have more than one website. Without wasting much time, let's proceed and get started. And if this is your first time of visiting my channel, kindly hit the like and subscribe button so you will always be the first in line to be notified whenever I publish or post fresh content. So the first thing we need to do to get our own free SSL certificate for WordPress is to create an account on a website called Cloudflare. This is where we will get our free SSL certificate from. So let's uh, proceed and go on to Cloudflare so we can set up our free Cloudflare account. Now, I already have my Cloudflare account, so if you don't have, you need to sign up. It's simple to sign up. You just need your email and a password for you to complete the sign up process. So once I've, uh, I've, I've already logged into my Cloudflare account, as you can see here, and the next thing I need to do is to add my website. That's the second step. So I click on add a website and I type in the name of my site. So I'm going to use www.netpreneur.xyz This is the website I intend to use for this tutorial. So once I've typed in the name of my website inside a search bar, I'm going to click on add site to complete the process. to my domain 
host wherever the place I bought my domains and I bought my domain from Namecheap so I'm going to go to manage so I can change my name servers to that of Cloudflare so I need to scroll down here to name servers and I select custom DNS so let's go back to our Cloudflare account so we can copy Cloudflare's name servers this is what we're going to be using we're trying to point our domain name to Cloudflare's name servers so I'll copy this and I'll paste it here I'll copy the second one that's done I click on this uh, icon here okay so our DNS servers has been changed and the update might take up to 48 hours to take effect but that's not going to stop us let's go back to our cloud for account so they asked us to click on done to check if the name servers have actually been changed or updated so we're going to click on done okay and the next thing we need to do is to configure our domain settings to improve security optimize performance and get the most from your account so click on get started so make sure for automatic HTTPS right switch on on make sure it's saved always use HTTPS when I switch it on click on save so we're gonna click on JavaScript we we'll take this we tick CSS as well. I'm also going to tick HTML as well. So once this is done, we'll click on save. So for the last one, speed up page load times for visitors HTTPS traffic by applying broadly compression. So we'll leave this on. We we'll we'll kind of double it to on, and we'll click on save. Okay, sorry, we need to go back to the first thing, which is the automatic HTTPS, right? We need to switch it to on. So let's go back here. We need to make sure this is on. It's, it's toggled to the on. Click on save. Make sure this is saved as well. So it has to be on for all the buttons. Saved. For broadly, it should be on as well. Click on save. Perfect. So click on finish to proceed to the next step. Awesome. So we've successfully pointed our domain name servers to that of Cloudflare, and we would have to wait a little while for the propagation to complete. So occasionally, you should just come here and click on check name servers. It might take as long as 24 hours. In some cases, it might not take that long so let's just uh, try to check if our name servers have finished propagating we'll click on the check name servers button okay so cloudflare is now checking the name servers for netpreneur.xyz please wait a few hours for an update in the meantime we need to go back to our we need to visit our website now that to go to the fourth step we need to download the ssl plugin for cloudflare on wordpress so go to my website here and we'll go to plugins and click on add new you can see the not secure icon right here so we're going to search for a plugin known as flexible xsl that's the name of the plugin we're going to use for this okay so this is our flexible SSL for Cloudflare we're gonna click on install and activate okay so we 
we've installed a flexible SSS for Cloudflare and we've also activated it. In the meantime, our domain name is still propagating, but that won't stop us from progressing on this tutorial. We're going to go to the final step, which is to enable SSS in Cloudflare. So let's go back to our Cloudflare account to complete the process. So to do that, we're going to click on this uh, lock icon which has SSL and TLS to complete the setup. So click on this and we scroll down. So for the first option, your SSL and TLS encryption mode is full. We'll make sure it's on full. We scroll down, SSL and TLS recommend and make sure this button is toggled on on. And we'll go over and go to the second option, Edge Certificates. Scroll down. Always use HTTPS. Make sure this is an on. And we're going to leave the rest options. We don't need them. Everything is the way it should be. And we can also receive, we can, we can either choose to take this on or off. This simply means you're going to be receiving an email notification when a certificate authority issues a certificate for your domain. So let's just toggle this to on. So you can always be notified whenever, it's, whenever a certificate authority issues a certificate for our domain. But and that's not important. You can also ignore that as well. So go to the third option. which is the client certificate ok so there's nothing to do here so right now let's go back to overview and check if our domain name propagation has finished so click on check name servers again ok so our name servers are already being rechecked and you may only submit a recheck once per hour so right now this is all we need to do we we'll just have to go back to see if our website is now SSL protected that's if the not secured message is gone for good so just need to reload our web page mind you this might take a few maybe 230 minutes and in some cases an hour or more so what I'm gonna do right now is pause this video and I'm going to come back in the next 30 minutes to check if our SSL certificate was properly installed. So don't go nowhere, stay tuned. I'm going to catch you back in a few minutes. Alright guys, so I'm back and let's try to see if our DNS propagation has been completed. So awesome, you can see the message here. Great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site so since the DNS propagation has been completed let's go back to our WordPress website dashboard to see if our SSL installation was successful okay so as you can see I tried reloading the page and I was logged out now this is what's going to happen after the installation process has been successfully completed you will be logged out and asked to log in back and as you can see in the bar here the lock icon is active awesome so what we did was actually successful remember i told you you have to give it some time between 20 to 30 minutes yes that's how long we've waited so let's try to log in back to our admin dashboard on the, for our wordpress website so i click on login okay okay so I'm not able to log in because of a password issue so I'm gonna pause this video again to get my password from where I saved it and try logging in again so just tell me okay guys so I've gotten my password from where I saved it so let me try to log in again perfect as you can see everything is fine our SSL certificate has been successfully installed 
on our WordPress website. So you can see how easy it is to do. This tutorial has been self-explanatory. I try to make it as easy as possible. All right, guys, this is all you know. This is all you need to know about how to get a free SSL certificate for your WordPress website. If you'd like to download premium WordPress themes and plugins, there's a link in the video description below. It's a link to my personal or my personal Facebook group where you can join and enjoy a lot of freebies, free download, free softwares, blogging tips, athlete marketing tips, and lots more. So don't forget to also like and share this video across your social media platforms. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Signing out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Share my contents on your social media platforms and subscribe to my channel.